The new chairman of the parole board admits he made a mistake in 2018 when he engaged in a sexual relationship with a teenage girl. But Jamal Jones says he's proud of his law enforcement and military service. And his boss, the governor, says that service is why she's standing by him despite the revelations. We first told you last night how Benton police fired Jones just a short time into his career as an officer there. A criminal investigation found that a 17-year-old girl initiated a sexual relationship and kept her age a secret. Jones never faced charges in part because the teen's mother didn't want to see him, quote, go to jail. But the department fired Jones for initially lying about the nature of the relationship. Well, Jones sent us a written statement today saying, in part, I made a mistake. He went on to say he takes full responsibility for what happened and that he has the support of his wife and family. We've still not heard from the governor's office on whether or not she knew about all of this before she appointed him. Now, Jones took part in his first meeting on the State Board of Corrections since his appointment last Friday. That came yesterday, and at that meeting, the board voted to hire former state lawmaker Eddie Joe Williams as interim corrections secretary. Well, now today, Attorney General Tim Griffin is warning the board they can't legally hire him. He points to state law that says only the governor can appoint a cabinet secretary. There's been two other lawsuits between the board and the Sanders administration. So far, the two have gone the board's way.